This video will help you fill out the trigonometric chart you've been working on. So in order to do the chart, there's some tools you need, and these are from the notes. You need the 30-60-90 triangle and the 45-45-90 triangle. And you also need the circle definitions uh, for trigonometric functions. So let's start with this one. Evaluate the six trigonometric functions of 510 degrees. So the first thing we need to do is figure out where is 510 degrees. So if we start here and we go all the way around once, that's 360 degrees. Another 90 degrees gets us to 450. And let's see, another 60 degrees past that would get us to 510. So it's right there. So again, all the way around is 360, then 450, then another 60 degrees would get us to the 510. But here's what's important. This angle right here, the reference angle, is 30 degrees. So once we know that's 30 degrees, we can make a little triangle here, and we can use our 30, 60, 90 triangle to label this side two, this side rad three, and this side one. And the whole key to doing these is to figure out what your x, y, and r are. So right here, the coordinates of this point in this quadrant, since we're rad three over, the x coordinate would be negative rad three. And since we're one unit up, the y coordinate would be positive one. So here's what we have. X is negative rad three, Y is one, and R is two. Once you have X, Y, and R, you can use these to figure out what everything is. So for example, sine theta, since it's Y over R, is going to be one over two. That makes cosecant theta, the reciprocal, just two. Cosine theta, is x over r, so that's going to be negative rad 3 over 2. The reciprocal of this, r over x, is what secant theta is going to be. Now notice this is going to end up with a radical in the denominator, so we have to rationalize it. So we just multiply by rad 3 over rad 3, and it ends up being negative 2 rad 3 over 3. Then tangent theta is y over x, so that's 1 over negative rad 3. We need to rationalize this one too, so if we multiply by rad 3 over rad 3, we end up with negative rad 3 over 3. And cotangent theta will just be negative rad three over one, so it's just negative rad three. All right, here's another one. Evaluate the six trigonometric functions of 585. So let's start by figuring out where 585 is. One full rotation is 360 degrees. Another 90 degrees gets us to 450. Then another 90 degrees would get us to 540. And we're trying to get to 585. We're at 540 right now. So another 45 degrees will get us to 585. So again, 360, 450, 540, and now we're at 585. But here's the key. The reference angle is 45 degrees right there because we went 45 degrees past the x-axis. So here we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which if we go back up to here, we can label the hypotenuse as rad two and those sides as one and one, the legs. So this length is one, this length is one, and this is rad two. The key to solving these is determining what x, y, and r are. So the x coordinate here, since we're one unit over, would be negative one. And the y coordinate here, since we're one unit down, would also be negative one. So x is negative one, y is negative one, and r is rad two. Next, what we need to do is evaluate all the functions. So since we have x, y, and r, 
we can use our trigonometric functions again. So in this case, sine theta is going to be y over r, so negative 1 over rad 2, which when we simplify will be negative rad 2 over 2. I mean when we rationalize, sorry. This one will be r over y, so that's rad 2 over negative 1, or negative rad 2. Cosine of theta will also be negative rad 2 over 2. And secant theta will also be negative rad 2. That's because the x and y coordinate are the same here. So sine and cosine turn out to be the same, because they're both using the same r. Tangent is y over x, which is negative 1 over negative 1. It's 1. And cotangent is also 1. On this last one, it's a little bit different. We don't actually have to use a triangle. When we're trying to evaluate 630 degrees, let's start by figuring out where that is. All, right, all the way around, all the way around is 360. That's 450, which is another 90 degrees. 90 more degrees is 540, and 90 more degrees would be 630. So we'd rotate all the way around and end up right here. Since we landed on the axis, we don't actually draw a triangle. We can figure out immediately what x, y, and r are. So let this radius right here be 1. If that's 1, the coordinates of this point would be 0, negative 1. So our x is 0, y is negative 1, and r is 1. Now you can use your um, formulas up here again. All right, sine theta is y over r, so negative 1 over 1, so it's 1. Cosecant of theta is 1 over negative 1, so it's negative 1. I'm sorry, sine is negative 1 also, because y is negative. Cosine of theta is x over r, so 0 over 1 is 0. But secant is going to be 1 over 0, so secant theta is undefined. Tangent theta is negative 1 over 0, so it's undefined. And cotangent theta is 0. With those three examples, you should be able to do everything on the back. Good luck.